All right. So we're going to we're going to stop the first amendment audits. That wasn't working here in Santa Barbara. Nobody cares, nobody knows. And I always seem to be the one at fault even when I'm just sitting in my own private car and these public minions from the grocery outlet where it seems like my fans are saying they don't have to tell me their names. All right. Wherever Mary Mandolin, if that was you, are you really calling from Pennsylvania? Because do you guys have a different law? What store would you go in? What chain do they not know? Go. Hi, my name is. And they have a a little card. Yeah, they have like it's supposed to be written under their on their shirts or something always a manager too see he had a first name i'm gonna add a last name to it like mcdonald's does i do a thing about chains people if you have to go you don't know like if i'm just sitting in my car some people come to me say they don't know what a first amendment audit is i'm telling them i'm the only one in town that's all it was that was my point of view mary is that i'm the only one in this town of 86,000 people Right? In California, Ofer lives here. Do you know who that is, right? It really, Rob Lowe, do you know who that is? Uh, what a, Jenny McCarthy, um, Julia Dreyfus from Seinfeld. You know I bring up Seinfeld. Mary Mendelin, I think it was you. You like me, but then sometimes you unsubscribe, then you subscribe back. You tend to get mad at me. You tend to not understand that I'm just sitting here and that everyone likes the protagonist. You should know my point of view. I don't have one. I just have this protagonist mask on and they come up to me and they either do wrong or they do right in the world of don't be a dick. I keep telling everyone, right? Join the Green Party. It's a party. You have to learn about the party. Now, if you can't read English, see, if you were telling me you're from Pennsylvania, but you're actually from, I don't know. It really wouldn't matter. You're understanding half of what I'm saying, like my sisters. And as if you have heard, like the Perry Ford who ripped me off on this car, I'm not listening to anyone anymore. So figure out why they're wrong. But to tell me that I'm wrong and that I'm lying? Yikes, Mary Mandolin. Unsubscribe one more time. What, what kind of mom are you? You're supposed to have my back. And you tell me I'm lying? After all those videos that I made for you? What was I lying about? That they need to tell me their names? Yeah. In any chain. Mary Mangolin. Mary Mandolin. I'm telling you, God, go tell my father this. Tell everybody what you see. Right? Follow me. It's Jim Morrison. Haven't you heard? Follow me down. Jim Morrison is making it in that one gas station, the Shell, Mary Magdalene, across the street from the dog park, State Street, where it turns into Hollister, where we are investigating Lee McMillan. Am I lying about that? Am I lying about how Joe Kaiser, when I find out in my own newspaper, right, Santa Barbara Independent, about this vlogger, he writes back, uh, well, that happened a week ago, actually. No help! And Uber girl Paula says to me, Oh, her name is Lisa. L-E-E-Z-A. It's written right there on the page. She comes back later and says, No, Misha, I did not say that. Ha ha, LOL. Oh my God, go back and look. This person did not even do that. Like my mama, like my sisters, they do not come and listen or find out what's going on. They just make these ha ha, LOL descriptions. Mary Magdalene. Take on my mama. Take on that number. Take on Jeremy. Take on Shell. Take on Steve Law if you want to. No, he's a nice guy. Leave him alone. Take on the people at the grocery outlet. That was their job. They're supposed to tell me their name. If that lady was a manager, she's supposed to tell me her name. You cannot tell me that only officials. What? You're, we're back in Russia. Only officials tell us our name? Do you not get out of the house, Mary Magdalene? Tell me, mandolin, in order to get some strings for that mandolin. 
Did you talk to the person? Was it the same person that I showed you over by the El Cito, over by the Jensen's Music? Do you remember when I was going to Los Angeles and there was no place in town that had a cello bow and I was going for the death of Van Halen, right? Eddie, do you understand Iggy Pop? What's your most favorite song of Iggy Pop? All of you who have been trolling me, my family, everyone who loves me, my friends, Joe Kaiser, Uber Girl Paula, before any of you talk to me as a guise of an apology, since you're not going to listen or understand or help me being big brothers instead of being big mothers. No, you're, I don't need it. So stop. But if you want to get back into my life, all of you, so that I don't know how many, I'm not looking at the subscriptions, I don't know who likes me anymore, I don't know who's in my family anymore, but you guys do. And if you plan to come here, look one more thing of mine. Comment on one more thing of mine. You best start that comment with your favorite song by Iggy Pop. Say, this is my favorite song and this is why I love it. Just like I did with you and Kurt Cobain. And I showed you signed posters of him. I drove you thousands of miles up the east side of the 395. And Joe, check out some of your comments, but know mostly that when I was in that ghost town, you knew it was Bridgeworth, not Bodie, but you could not get me anything into the cash app. You could not help me to save my life. And when I finally get back to somewhere where there's not a dead zone in that zone of California, and I just ask my mama, can you help me? Can you get this Barry Ford to do what they said 24 hours seven? Can you do this Allstate that used to have Nina's hands insured? Could you guys remember all that? No. Could you guys make it worthwhile that I own those four walls? I own the four walls. Why did I go to jail? Why was there not justice? Mary Magdalene, why did you call me a liar? I am not a liar. I'm bipolar. We do not like to be told we are liars. Kurt Cobain was not a liar. Lee McBillens was not a liar. Mary Magdalene, it's not even your real name. You changed it three times in front of me. And you left me like a couple times. Mary. So leave a message. Tell me your real name. Give me your address like I've been giving you. Give me your phone number like I've been giving you mine. I'm giving you my whole life story. I'm fighting off my family because they don't want it to be public now. I'm teaching everyone what public and private is. And because of the seals of 1969, there was an oil spill. Mary, were you standing there with your grandparents? Were you four years old in, in Pennsylvania looking at the Liberty Bell? No, I told you the story. We had to widen the tracks. They had to widen the tracks for us here in Santa Barbara so that they wouldn't bypass our town, so that we had the liberty to see this bell. And after we stopped it and we made this big fuss and everyone in L.A. is going, what the hell did this city do? Only 13 of us showed up. I was one of those 13. I took pictures. I was one of the people in town taking pictures at my age. Maybe there was an Instamatic, but I actually had like a Nikon. It was like too expensive for a kid my age. But the person working at the uh, camera store, Russ's camera, that used to be on State Street, who would always let me in even though I knew I was a kid and they wouldn't treat me like they do now, it's not even there. Right, Mary Magdalene, all the things I'm talking about. How could you say it's a lie when I've lived in this town land of the newlyweds and nearly deads since 1969 and I saw the actual shell oil spill. I was four years old. Doesn't matter. You can tell me that's too young to remember something. You can do all that, but you haven't done it. That's what I'm trying to explain to my mom. You can keep talking, but you haven't done what I've done. None of my sisters will ever do. It's not in their mind to do what I have done. And they don't even have it in their, in their brains to just pretend to be nice enough to listen to this brother who has been silent and let him tell the story so you can find out what happened to him while you were off doing something else. That goes for all of you. 
stop criticizing my thing. Go do your own and then send it to me and I'm going to criticize the fuck out of it. But I don't lie. I'm going to tell you, you all are screwed up in the head. Fuck you.